Hello guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. This is part 3, uh, where we're actually playing as a character named Raiden. Now, um, I was getting a bit confused in the exposition um, of the game when I was mentioning, hey, you remember this thing that happened two years ago? And I got confused, I was like, ah, oh, are we already jumping ahead to the 2009 part? And I was like, that can't be right, because I would have expected us to be in 2007 for like a big portion of the game and then 2009 for the other but um no 2007 um on the uh the 2007 chapter is actually the prologue um where you play as our boy snake and then um the rest of the game two years later 2009 um and we're currently playing as raiden a new playable character um so i don't know what the hell happened to snake uh, did Snake die? <laughs> because the more I think about it, like, I've always just kind of considered, um, Snake to be a constant character in the franchise because I've seen him on, like, covers and stuff. But then I think about that and I go, well, now that I know and have played Metal Gear Solid 1, I understand that Snake, Solid Snake, is a clone of Big Boss. So the other games that I'm looking at might not even be Snake, and also most of the other games are actually prequels, so they could have Solid Snake, and that's fine. Snake could have died. And this is like New Snake, and then the Colonel just went, ah, oh, you're Raiden, Neil. So did they use, like, Snake as a, um, as an intro character, and then is he gone? I don't know. Um, I don't reckon that would be how they would take out the legendary Solid Snake. But I have a feeling we'll either be seeing him or we'll be playing as him again, maybe. He needs his reunion with the Colonel, I guess. And Meryl. And I need more of that Snake Otacon banter. I'm not ready for it to end. Um, but I guess we'll see how we like this new character, Raiden. Um, enough chit chat. Let's uh, let's get into the game. I've been too busy running over these uh, these bugs for so long. Um, let's have a. Ooh, that is that's actually really cool. That's neat. We um, we can look out of his helmet. That's cool. Why are there these? Oh, why is it? Because we're just near water. This is, this is actually so cool that you, um, it doesn't just go, like, third person for no reason. I mean, sorry, first person, um, looking like normal. It's, like, actually, um, this guy's, uh, this, this guy's goggles. Oh. Nice. Here I am just walking around. I thought that I could go around this way. I was just, I guess not. No. Look at these, like, big-ass diving suit-looking things. Alright, um... They look creepy. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's proceed with the mission, because we're Mr. 300 VR missions completed. Um, which is, which is funny to me, because it's like, I love, oh. I love that they make VR missions, like, an actual part of the game, like, it's not just, like, training for the, um, for you, the player, but it's, like, an actual thing in, um, in the video game, in the, like, Metal Gear lore as VR missions is actually a thing. And I just think that's great. Alright, so that door actually opens. But we can go down here. I noticed this before. I was assuming that door would be locked, but I just wanted to check it anyway. Why did the bugs get louder? Oh, okay, this is just... Okay. Whoa! Dude, look at these moves! Oh my god. Raiden's got some moves on him, dude. It's gonna take a, a lot of time for me to get used to saying Raiden, because I read it as Raiden, because Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be the area that we just uh, went to to get that ration. So, yeah. Oh, cool. So there was two ways to get that. Two ways to get that ration. 
and we did a very realistic 180 while we're in the vent. That's how uh, that's how that works. Okay, there was no point in going down here. Um, I guess it was just a way for us to get that ration. Look at us. We spend five minutes in the in the first room. We're taking it nice and slow. We're not rushing through the game. We're we're getting used to it because I want to get used to the controls and I want to not embarrass myself so much. So that's the uh, that's the point. Oh God. Oh, so I like how it automatically switches to like a a uh, first person view as well. What's up with this guy? Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal. An arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Raiden, you should be used to the controls by now. Proceed with your mission. The clock is ticking. Get on the elevator on the far side of this area and get to the upper section of the big shell. Thanks, Colonel. I'm used to my controls now after spending five minutes, uh, five minutes doing nothing. So I do not have a, uh, I do not have a, a radar in my, in my top right as Raiden, I guess. Um, that's what it, that's what it feels like. Feels like I'm missing, missing some things that I'm used to. But I guess that is intentional. Oh, he's right there. Snake's right there. That's interesting. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID, but for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. <laughs> node. Oh. Use the node <laughs> to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. All right. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. All right. Let's be quick then. Um. So Snake is here. Like, that's really weird. Like, it's playing it up. Like, oh, there's another intruder in here. What do we do? One man. And, like, they don't, we're playing as, like, an outside party, except the colonel probably has some sort of idea. But that's, that's our boy. Also on this mission two years later. I wonder what he's been up to. All right, we got our boys out cold. Let's quickly access the node. Did you say nerd? I really liked the Colonel's, um, well, I, I really liked the UI, um, uh, 
Jesus. Well, I mean, it worked. That was painful. I really liked the UI for um, Metal Gear Solid 1. I really liked how when they were talking in the in the codec, like, um, their faces were, like, slightly animated, but it was a bit more like an animated drawing instead of the 3D model. It was really cool. Um... Is this um is this inputting my own personal information into a video game? Is this what it's asking me to do? You want to know my uh, you want to know my birthday, guys? It doesn't specify the uh, the year, and I'm also assuming that it's going to be okay. It is. It's backwards. Ooh. I can't change. Yes, I can. <laughs> UK, Ukraine. Do I have to go all the way this way? Is it, it really asking me to put in my own personal information? I feel like this is going to be some weird, um, some weird, weird fourth wall breaky stuff when it goes, ha ha, so you're this person. Um, yes, guys. I've now revealed to you my birthday and my my general location of this country. <laughs> oh, it's the options screen. Radar, type 2. Radar does not appear during intrusion view. Um, I kind of see with with uh, with Snake, we've uh, we've had it um, not appearing during intrusion view. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Blood staying on. Real time cutscenes. Caption can stay on. First person view control type. Item window. I think this is fine. These options are just fine as per normal. Um, we'll keep the the radar uh, not appearing for now. But I do kind of want to. I do kind of want to see how we go, because I might change it. Um, I'm assuming I should just exit now. That was weird. Our option screen only in-game. The radar should be functioning now. Remember oh, your VR yeah, training cool. sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you riding. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy... This makes sense. Um, this it makes sense that easily, you're able to either choose playing it's all made from currently which chapter, technology. whether you want to play both or whether you want to choose you to each one. Area with strong harmonic so I'm assuming so if you skip careful. that prologue chapter... The big shells layout map should now be available after touching the start button. That's why it's giving you this. The mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Mei Ling? Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Who Jack, is can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. Uh, What's Rose. going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Jack. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. Is Mei Ling in an accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all Love the help you Love can bloom on a battlefield. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? 
I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? How Isn't could you that? forget? I can't remember. It's our anniversary! Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Mm -hmm. Give me, give me my ling back. There's somebody there. I want my, my ah! This is that girl took too long talking to me about feelings. Right. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Yes, I know. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Uh, sure. Dude. No! Don't make me backflip. Why do why would that oh my god. I'm concerned with your safety, so I'm just gonna talk to you for so long. I'm gonna talk to you for so long that you um you get caught by the, the guards who wake up. That is uh that is ridiculous. <laughs> um I want Mei Ling, please. I do not like. I do not like. Oh god. I do not like Rose. I'm under attack. Stay alert. No. Don't come after me. Put this guy over here. Oh god. Let's get that caution running out, please. Almost back to normal. God. Who is that? What? It's the enemy. I no way. Oh, Wombo combo. All right, so they're both gone. Can I have the elevator now, please? Do I need to call it? Oh my God, it's here. Let me in. Flawless execution. Um, Jack and Rose. Is this a Titanic reference? I don't know. Is this what happened to Leonardo DiCaprio after the Titanic incident? The terrorists Became right? call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? That's me! The Look at me! The leader is Solid Snake. Excuse me? What? The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. I look like Liquid Snake. The solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. What? Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries. But it would only take one to spot me in this light. 
You never had daylight VR training. Snake after dead, all. but other snake, but not the solid snake. To log in Leader from. of the Sons of Liberty terrorist group. Seal Team Ten has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. The president's Strut here. Strut B. Is it Solidus? <gasps> is that Solidus? Shell is I don't know what he looks like. One and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding. Could be Solidus. It. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell One, at the moment. There's too many snakes First, on this goddamn get to plane. A node. Log into the network. Got it. Alrighty. Um. Do you think that I look like um, a, a skinny, more feminine liquid snake? Slip on the bird shit. Oh my god. Oh, I just, I really love how funny this game can be at times, just in how it's put together. It's not like, it's not made to, to make you laugh. But like, there are just so many comedic and well-timed moments that I just really appreciate. Like, it is so funny. Yeah, I was, I was all right, I can't can't get my chaff grenades. I'm gonna have to figure figure that out, and I'm also gonna have to try and not <laughs> not slip on the poo. Um, I'm very interested to see what is happening with the Sons of Liberty and Snake being the um, leader of the terrorist group. Um, I guess this guy here, Raiden, must be the other guy on the, the cover, because you got Snake in the background, and then this guy, I assume, if it's showcasing, like, the characters. Alright, I need a gun. No! I missed the getting... Give me a call. Raiden, look at that wire fence. You may be able to crawl through it. Oh, there's a hole right Crouch there. Crouch down using the crawl button. Then push the left stick in the direction you want to move. Push the crawl button again to stand up. You can use weapons even while crawling. This is different from VR training, so you keep that in mind. I thought the colonel would be older. Like, I thought he would look older than he, um, than he is. Is there one here as well? No. Um, the Colonel looks like younger in this game compared to um, compared to the other one. But that's the difference between a 3D animation and um, a 2D animation. All right. Yes, what is it? It's me, Raiden, Jack Raiden. Raiden, Seal Team Ten is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be Yeah, but secret, I have no reason to trust those guys the after the channels. last game. They might be different people. Potentially, but, um, don't trust them. Do not trust them. Downstairs we go. This is so, this is so great. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Because they, they, they really took Metal Gear Solid 1 and just put it on the PS2. That's And that's not a bad thing. Like, everything's been, like, largely improved, which is really nice. Colonel, 
I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. This is cool. I want to quickly just check if there's anything in here. Hello? Hello? There is. Oh. Cool. Wish I had a radar. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> Loves it. This is going to make a lot of noise, though. Dude screamed out in pain last night. Alright, he doesn't. He doesn't do it. I guess I could have put any information I wanted when I logged in, but there you go, there's my, um, that's my information for you. <laughs> I love that it keeps the year in, qu in question marks, though. So you're allowed to just change your options at the node, and that's, uh, and that's it. I find that really funny, and you have the option to go back to the title screen. So you have to log in. So you have to, like, sort of get into the, that's actually really interesting. I think that's really cool. Hmm. So you have to connect to the node to get the radar working. I mean, it kind of like makes sense on like how you do it if you're like trying to hack in or get in on um, an enemy um, on an enemy location. Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy <sighs> the engine. It was or on the, the roof. Camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Ooh, cool. Copy that. Copy that, Colonel. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the Easy way. Easy money. Come on home. Roger that. Holy Alpha Zero, report. Easy money doesn't sound like a uh, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. Team. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that Alpha Zero? Respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. But I need to get some chaff. I'm going back this way. Unless there's chaff right outside. Doesn't look like there's chaff outside, so... How do I get to that... How do I get that thing open before? Check this way out. Got ration. No chaff. Um, where did, did this guy go? I think he went up this way. Maybe we got to take this guy out on the roof, and he'll give us uh, and he'll give us access to the to the uh, chaff area. I would I would really be great. Oh no, it's right here. Yeah, cool. This is a a different gate, and he's opened it. Awesome. Well, we got two chaff grenades. Um, I would really love a weapon. Would really love a weapon, but I don't think that's what we're able to deal with right now. They couldn't. They couldn't equip. They couldn't equip Raiden with like a little little pistol tucked into his uh, tucked into his little wetsuit there. I guess not.
All right, chef. You. Um. Genuine question: Why did my chaff not do anything? Where did it go? I threw it straight ahead, which is on a bridge. There we go. I think I threw the chaff off the bridge, dude. Is this more? Ah, so I could have got some here down as well. Um, oh, ooh, okay. This facility big. Um, there's two doors. I guess we'll try in here. Strut F. Nothing here. Um, can I please... I'm going to have to find a node in this. So I'm going to have to find the node in each. Um, that's really cool. I'm going to have to find the node in each uh, facility. I got... Oh, yes! Nice. And it's got a silencer. Hell yes. And we're full up on it as well. That was a mistake. Did not mean to do that. I still get. I still need to get used to um, how to. Um... Oh my God, where is it? I still need to get used to um... going in and out of cover. Where is this guy? Is he over this side? Or is he over this side? Oh my god, I can't. Oh, he's, there he is. Nice. That SOCOM's gotta be around here somewhere as well, I guess. Is that like a magazine or something down there? Okay, we don't have level two access either. I'm gonna have to gonna have to get there. Oh I put him to sleep. Oh, the M9 is just straight up a tranquilizer. I thought it was a tranquilizer only for that first mission, the snake. So he asleep, alright. I wish that he would drop me something. Oh god. Um, he's he's not late. It's fine. No, that's okay. You don't need to. How do I get down? Encounter DM and request. I've done a mis I've done a bad. I've done a bad. Whoop. Just lost uh, a poster that was hanging up on my wall. I, uh... <laughs> oh, you can upgrade your grip. And then you can drop down. Look at that. I was wondering... Um... I Cool, I can pause this. Um, I was wondering. No, it doesn't pause. Jack, tell me you're okay. I'm all right. It was a close one, though. Oh, good. I didn't think it would be this tough. Hey. It's the helplessness of it, you know? Just watching with no power to help you. It's like having a ringside seat at a boxing match, but much worse because it's someone I love and the stakes are. Rosemary. 
Maybe this was a miscalculation on my part. Selecting her wasn't the wisest choice. No, no. I apologize for the outburst. I'm all right. I will see this through with you. Rose? We fight together, okay? You have nowhere to run. Neither do I. Rosemary. Do you guys like Rose? Because you know I don't. I'm all right, sir. Will I like Rose? Right. Eventually. How about you? I'm good. Then the mission goes on. But Rosemary, there's one thing you need to understand. Sir? Be quiet. His name is Raiden. Got it? Yes, sir. I understand. Let me focus on the mission. Um, what if I said, no, thank you. Um, the reason why I jumped, when I jumped down before onto the railing and figured out I can do that, um, I was trying to drop down, but pressing the same button, um, did not work. <laughs> it makes you jump back up. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's something there. Oh, I can open that. Cool. Um, I need to figure out how to get up here and get this guy. How do I get this? Oh god. No, there's no one here. No, ex no, don't explore downstairs. Downstairs is where I'm chilling here. Where's the, where's the node in this place? Goodbye. How do I get this guy? Because, um. Hmm? There's somebody. Who is that? What? It's the enemy. I no, no, no. Where are you? No, no, no. I disagree. Looks like I'm going out this way. So many of you. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I can like push push an object on the ground. Um. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I can push an object on the ground to like get up to that magazine. Slow and steady, everyone, while I trigger all of these emergency alarms. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll just check out in here. Oh, this was the lower... Is this... Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Cool. Alright, back in here then. <laughs> I wanna get this I wanna get this magazine, but I don't know where. Oh my god. Hello everyone. Nothing here. Oh no! Oh dude, they just came out of that door as well! <laughs> Over there. Over where? Oh no! Don't attach yourself to surfaces! I'm going to die. Now I'm bleeding. I didn't think the enemies were going to be right there as soon as I came into the, the thing. Damn. That's really frustrating. But this is why I've got so many, uh, this is why I've got so many rations, right? Oh no! There's someone there as well! Something over there! No! There's nothing over there. Oh my god, why are there so many people? 
Hmm? I've I've trapped myself. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to wait it out. Because last time I decided to go out early and then go back in another room, the enemies were still there. And I got caught. Nothing here. Yep. Nothing. I'm completely invisible, sir. It's time for you to go. Oh no. No! No! <laughs> His head just kept moving! I'm honestly just done with this area. I was really just trying to figure out how to get um, this thing and there's like... I was trying to look for a, a machine because it looks like that there's something on a hook. Like this thing. But I don't know how to I don't know how to operate it. There's gotta be like a console or something, but these things don't do anything. Oh hang on a minute. Oh, we don't even have level one. I thought we could open level one doors. Nope. Oh, we've really got nothing here. Raiden, didn't you hear what the SEAL said? The President is in trouble. Head for Strut B. Strut B is to the northwest of Strut A. First, make your way to Strut A on the double. The President's life is at stake here. I didn't know that you could check, um, I didn't know that I could move to check where everything else was, um, so... I had to go the other way. I've checked on the wrong bridge to go to strut F. For some reason I thought I had to navigate all the way through here to get to strut B, and this whole time I could have just done that. Strut B is in the other direction, so I've just been completely wasting my time down here. Alright, we're going back. I'm pretty sure I can go this way. Um, and just ignore the, ignore the surveillance guy, so I don't actually need to use chaff. I can save them for probably the dude who's going to be on the the other bridge instead. All right, so I'm assuming there must be a door on the other side that I've uh, that I missed this whole time, uh, which will be what I can check out now. There is. I'm so stupid. This whole time, there's been another door on this side. A B connecting bridge. Let's go rescue the president, even though we took our sweet time. <laughs> Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. I figured this Once out by accident. You can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. This is actually All a right. great ability. I'm giving it this a is, try. This is a Don't great forget the change gauge. or update. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. And once it runs out, you will fall. 
This is this is great. I love that they're like adding adding new things. So cool, dude. I mean, I could, you know, just go for the go for the old stun or just uh, make him sleep, but we'll do the hanging technique which I am running out on. Is this guy going to move it? Thank you. Jesus. Oh god, I was on a noisy part of the floor. We made it. Flawless. Alright, strut B, transform a room. I might, um, I might save it before we hear. I'll save with Rose for the first time. Who's very concerned for my health. What's up, Jack? Call me Raiden, please. Code names, code names only. I'm a professional. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. Yeah, I'll I'm sure that he'll just give Rose a replacement top-level security clearance. That's fine. The voice actor for Raiden is so familiar. Um, so familiar. Um... He's, so, he's definitely in something that I know. Uh, I'm just going to look. Okay. Bad time to look up a voice actor. I will pay attention. This is why you can turn blood on or off. Am I playing Resident Evil right now? Snake never left this much of a mess before, dude. guy looks like a completely different person. Who it is? Mr. Goatee Man. Oh my god, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, buddy. He good with his he good with his knives. Man, I'll let you butter my bread with that knife. It's all right. It's all right. Chill, chill out. Going on? Alpha, no need to get violent. I'll just wait outside. I get this is a fine way to get your arms chopped off, dude. Sticking them out like that. We all know what happened to Revolver Ocelot. 
And then he ended up with crazy person on. the fuck? Is he like vampiring? We got vampires in this? Excuse me sir, that looks highly inappropriate. What in the goddamn? What my, are you? My name is Vampire Man. Bruh, this guy like he like he like the knife. He like the knife, he like the blood. He cut, today. He, he cut his own chest. Or rather six. Vamp. I was so close! <laughs> My name Vamp. Not vampire. Vamp for short. Jesus Christ. What the hell? He's literally got the teeth! Get down! Why would you say get down? What the hell? There's an actual vampire in this game! And they gave him the most creative name possible. That voice actor I also recognize by name. I'm gonna have to figure out um, where they're from. Where is he? What the hell? That's our old mate David Hayter. That sneaky boy! What? I guess it's not actually Snake, but it's uh, the same voice actor? Unless it's just someone that sounds exactly like him. Strange smell. No, it's Snake. It's Snake. In disguise, but he doesn't. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Yeah, exactly. What the hell? This dude's very evasive for some reason. Oh? Yeah, queen. Are you <laughs> a yes, queen? What I found. Oh my god! I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Yes, queen. In a puff of smoke. What the hell? You literally just disappeared right before our very eyes. Oh my god. What? What an incredible character. Vampire. Excuse me. There's a cat. There's a person that looks like Solid Snake here. And unless Solid Snake has gone into disguise. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. This is our book. My name is. My name is. Pliskin. <laughs> Shut Pliskin. up. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Take that mask off. Oh. David Hayter. Literally, literally gave, gives us his name. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? You came in through the water like me. Are you, you got, Foxhound? You got water bugs. That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? Yeah, this is definitely Snake in Disguise, and he's just like, oh, Army's Force 21 my trials. name Pliskin. Force 21. That's about tactical IT deployment, That's right? The Best name that he could come up with on the spot. Any field experience? I broke us no, really. skins. So this is your first. I've had extensive training. Oh, the this is his first real mission too. The real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission sixty. Weapons eighty. Advanced VR, huh? But oh my god, it's using the original Metal Gear the graphics. Grunt of the Metal Gear Solid sensors. graphics. Great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? 
Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. Where do I know this guy's There's voice pain from? There's sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think. Oh, it's so close to the tip of my tongue. Situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Keep talking, Raiden. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. A voice actor for Axel and Reno, right? SEAL Team 10. Did I yeah. get it? Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. Well, it's too late. No, no one in. can know I'm that pretty sure involved. this is Axel and it's Reno voice actor. What's up? Take a look. Snake looking cool right now, boy. Is this the president? What the hell? Or is it a fake? A Navy captain. No, a Navy captain. You alright? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. Yeah, it's Snake. <laughs> what was that man? He got the cigarettes, that? dude. That blood sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. George Sears, Fat Man, they were always Fortune, close to the Vamp. Edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all they really went subtle for that dude on the left. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. Oh. Died two years ago. The cussing went on for so long, my console went into standby. You mean the that made this big shell <laughs> necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? That's a classic what mission with really the Colonel, dude. Here? You know you know nothing. <laughs> and you're on your own. Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this too. It's the SOCOM baby. Or is that the USP? Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? connecting bridge 
We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. What's happened to Remember my snake? frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plan's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Interesting. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. So cool even when he's in disguise. What's his deal? Why does he need so long to, to refresh and chill out? That's really interesting. So Mr. Mr. Pliskin, definitely not definitely not uh, Solid Snake. <laughs> He is now our friend, um, and we've got a frequency we can call him on. What do you say? Um, did you say one one four um, one four eight zero? Did you say one four eight zero? Is he still right here? That's probably why we can't call him. He's literally sleeping, and I just I just. <laughs> Oh my god, what a dodge, dude. Look at that. Oh no, it is the, the SOCOM that he gave us. Cool. Um, look at all this blood. What the hell? Um, so Snake is now sleeping, so that's probably why we can't call him. I'm pretty sure he said 140.8. Uh, um, but what we're going to do now is because we've got uh, made a decent little bit of progress. I got a bit lost, but we, we eventually got back on track. Uh, met met Mr. Pliskin. Um, and now we're going to go to the BC Connecting Bridge um, to follow in the President's footsteps. So I'm going to save the game here, guys, and end the episode for now. But thank you so much for watching. Um, it's getting pretty, getting pretty juicy. I'm loving, I'm loving this, this game straight off the bat. It's like... I'm not struggling anywhere near as much. It's more like kind of funny, silly mistakes that I'm making, but um, it doesn't. I don't feel frustrated with the controls at all. Like it feels good. So we'll we'll keep playing, and I'll see you in the next episode of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Thank you.